Good day. I am Geraldine Pobolen and I'm going to discuss my performance innovative tasks in civil engineering orientation. It is all about the floor plan and miniature that I make. So let's start. Introduction. The structure that I choose is a house. I choose house because for me it is the only place that you feel safe and secure. And I seek more information in the internet on how to make a floor plan. And in the next slide, this is the picture of my floor plan and miniature. Procedure. In making the miniature, you need to prepare the materials that is needed to be used. The first one that I make is I cut the cardboard using cutter for the floor or base and draw a floor plan into the cardboard for the guide. And after that, I cut some another cardboard into pieces for the walls. And attach it to attach it together using a glue or stick glue and cover it with some construction paper. For the door and window, I use an empty box of a melt. For the door, I just cover it with I just cover it with the construction paper and I attach it in the wall. And for the window, the two windows that is in the in the front and in the back, I put some I put some construction paper in the side of the lamination film that I used to cover for a window and the other windows I just insert a lamination film and for the materials that I use for making the miniature are cardboard, lamination film, construction paper, popsicle stick, stick glue, glue glue gun, seashore, cutter, roller, and pencil. Cost of PIT or Performance Innovative Task The total cost of my Performance Innovative Task is 65 pesos only. It is consists of 5 pieces of stick glue, a construction paper, a cutter and a glue and the rest of the materials I just see it in the house and here are some of the pictures for documentation purposes only while I make the miniature I I tend to take picture for documentation for the documentation it's not that much but I guess it's okay and that's all thank you for watching and listening hi everyone I am Rebecca K. R. Lozada and this is my PIT for midterm so let's start introduction uh, today, I will be discussing to you my floor plan and miniature. Then next. Today's agenda, why you chose such structure. I chose house structure because someday I want to build my own dream house. That's why I tried to make this house so that I'll be inspired by making this PIT.
So this is my floor plan. I'll show to you my floor plan. There. Um, it's 15 cm in length and 17.5 cm width. The next is my miniature. Here is what I made. Oops. There. It has a fence and a gate. Here's my gate. There, that's my gate. It's open. And furniture. Furniture there. Um, it is 33.5 cm in length. There, the length is 33.5 and 46 cm in width. Um, I chose. I used. Oh no, I used only ruler in measuring the measurements because I don't have a triangular scale and honestly I don't know how to use it. So procedure on making this, um, I I cut the illustration board, then I put it and I print furnitures and put it in the styrofoam so that it will look like a 3D 3D thing. Then I use these popsicles to to serve as my to serve as my fence. Then illustration board as my wall. I cut it to um, to look like a wall. There. Then I also use illustration board for the base. So the materials that were used are popsicle, illustration board. Uh, I used bun paper for my the printing. Illustration board again, styrofoam. I used my recycled cars, the collect collection cars there. Then that's it. I used also glue gun for the glue sticks. And I guess that's all. And the part where I had a hard time were um pasting this or putting this popsicles into one because sometimes it fell down and the isn't and the glue stick isn't strong enough to hold the glue glue at the popsicles and also i had a hard time cutting these windows because it's in the center and i don't know how to use it with the scissor so I also used um, cutter, yes, cutter, and I also had a hard time um, putting this printed furniture to the styrofoam because styrofoam is so fragile and so soft that if you only do like that, it will be destroyed. Then it will be magisip. So lastly, for Today's agenda is the cost of the PIT project or the floor plan and miniature. So, um, my total cost is 80.5 pesos only. So, I bought 6 glue sticks for 5 pesos each and it's 30 pesos. Um, I also bought styrofoam for only 22.5 and lastly the Popsicle sticks that I used for the fence is only 28 pesos and overall the total cost is only 80.5 So that's it for my report and presentation um, I hope you understand my video and I'm sorry for the for the background sounds and music because I am in the living room and my neighbors are so Yes, so Thank you and God bless us all. So good afternoon everyone. I am Mikaela Itagi from CE1QC17. So this video is all about how did I construct my miniature house and also for plan. I will show you later my program and I explain to you my location of each rooms. So question is nga no house ako napili instead of bridges buildings so house is one of my interests in this field like 
siya ang pinakaunang kuha sa ako interest to be a civil engineer someday. Kaya magma... What do you call that one? Uh, makakuha din siya ang attention, especially the modern designs. Like, mag magwonder kung ano ang giunsa na niya kung himo. That's why houses, no? First, naka-interest yun sa ako. That's why akang houses yun akong ito. So, I will show you later my procedures. And the procedures, it's in the documentation later. I will show you that. Materials did I use? Of course, cutter. And stick glue. Glue. Candles for my stick glue. That is for cutting cuts. Kung kung gunting yung mong gamitin, ano yung hindi siya madala. Kaya baga, baga siya ng karton akong gigamit. Also, cartoon. Cardboard. From the word, yun, recycle siya. Okay? Recycle siya from cardboards also recycled. Okay? You, you will see it later when I show you my documentation. And also, um, cost. No? To be honest, no, what did koy gasto ani paghimo? Because right now I'm living with my relatives, and all the materials that I use in making this miniature is, and then, like I, I have a cousin in elementary and the kancha, in the last year, then magamit pa nako siya. Even the cardboards, the cartoons from the cartoons, like magdusiri ako anti na ilara mang yun sa ilang sa gawas ilara tapok so that's why i use cartoons from construction it also came from my cousin from my papers my cousin also and of course in okay next is i will show you my floor so this is my floor plan and as you can see i have my first floor and the second floor the thing is, although it's the second story, but it's the same direction. The only difference in my second floor is that there's a terrace instead of porch. And my total land is, I mean, my total, my land and my, wait, like this, wait, 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 7.5 meters is to 23 meters. And from the start of my land to my house, is it, to the start of my house is, the distance is 2 meters. 2 meters also this, there, 2 meters also there, and 1 meter. This is 1 meter only. And also, this is my garage, my porch, my living room, my bedroom, walk-in closet, toilet and bathroom, stairs for the second floor, toilet and bathroom, dining and kitchen, and door outside. So for my second floor, as I said a while ago, it's the same, no, it's the same direction. The only difference is the terrace instead of porch. Good morning to each and everyone, my name is Jomar Aronos and today I will tackle about my chosen type of structure, how I made my house floor plan, and so does my miniature. I chose the house structure because if I ever become a civil engineer in the future, this is the first project that I'll make. Since I want to give shelters for those people who can't afford their homes and mostly to the homeless ones.
some colored paper and construction paper for its design before merging its walls to fully make a rooftop. of each equipment used to make this project is 708 pesos. My name is Maria Wanda Cassandra Ipat Lunag from BSCE 1QC17 and today I will present to you the structure that I chose for my performance innovative task in civil engineering orientation and this is the floor plan of the structure I chose. First question, why did you chose this structure? So I chose this structure by the way, the structure that I chose is a house. So, I chose this structure because basically this is somehow the layout of our own house. But not that totally because this miniature that I built and designed is two times bigger than our house. So, I, I chose this because if ever I'll be able to finish my studies and, and find a good job, I want to to make this miniature in reality like I want to build it for my for my family. Major and how I build the miniature. First is that I gathered all the materials needed such as carton, cartolina, uh, scissors, ruler, uh, pencil, glue, stick glue, and then paintbrush and paint second thing I do is that I started measuring measuring how big will the will the miniature I will build and then the next next part is that after measuring I cut all I cut it all and then assemble it and then next is that I painted painted it using paintbrush and the paint that we bought third one the cost of the miniature that I built all in all is 73 pesos I will enumerate the cost of each material that I use one the cartolina uh, the cartolina's price is 17 pesos and then stick glue uh, 17 pesos and then the paint paint that I use is 39 pesos all in all so total is 73 pesos and the rest that I use for the miniature is the carton which is a recyclable material I uh, asked from our neighbor that's why I did not spend a lot of money guys i will present to you the structure or the miniature i built the house here it is though it is not yet done because i don't have a lot of time so here it is i hope you like it Hi sir, I'm Julius Sabonga and I'm from BECE 1Q and I'll show you my output. So, mauni akong miniature house sir. Ang kaluag sa atubangan is 22.5 
cm by regular ruler and ang kaluag diri sa kilid is 300 cm by regular ruler or one regular ruler and ang kahabog dere sa dingding is 5 cm by regular ruler and this is my parking area uban sa sakyanan o napod siya mga grabas grabas then napoy hagdan paingon sa grahe tapos ang window ang bintana sir is ang sukod is 4.5 cm by regular ruler and ang door is 5 cm by regular ruler so let's go inside the house so mauni akong duha ka kwarto sir dere so ang kaluag dere sir is 7 cm by regular ruler dere sa pikas kwarto is 7 cm by regular ruler then ang kaluag dere is 100 cm by regular ruler and dere sa pikas is 8.5 cm by regular ruler so this is my CR ang kaluag dere is 7.5 cm by regular ruler then dere is 7 cm by regular ruler so this is my kitchen ang sukod is 7.5 by regular ruler then dere sa yang ano is 7 cm by regular ruler so this is my kananan area sir tapos dere is the sala so this is the pertahan sa luyo sir so mao ni akong ang sukod sa akong parking area sir ang sukod dere na side dere is 9.5 cm by regular ruler so ang kaluag dere sir is 26 cm by regular ruler so i introduce you my engineers of my miniature house sir So, mao na to akong miniature house, sir. Thank you, sir.
for listening. And bye mga kawatchers! So... Good day sir, my name is Marvin Ibar A. Valermo from BSC1QC70. So, for today's video, I will going to show my miniature which entitled Ganesem215. So, introduction. Um, have you ever thought of a common house where you and your friend can visit anytime and create memories? Well, we can't deny that sometimes being with your closest companions can relieve your stress. And it is how I created the idea of Tennyson 2 and 5. <coughs> so, it is our dream vacation house. And from that dream, I created an actual miniature to illustrate it. And it will also serve as a reminder for every Ganesan members to work hard, hard, to work hard and study harder. So, Ganesan is a, a group, is our group of friends, and we love traveling a lot and we come up with an idea to create our common rest house or vacation house someday um, for us um, to stay whenever we are going to a travel so <coughs> So, um, yeah, that's how it is started. So, I created a miniature house from it, from that idea, so that it will be vis, uh, vis, um, what do you call? Masab para ma kita kita para for us also to para maning kamot kini mayo para sa mo ang Ano, sa mong dream vacation house. So, I have here a saying, Every house where love abides and friendship is a guest is surely home and home, sweet home, for there the heart can rest. It is uh, a saying from Henry Van Dyke. So, uh, this is my miniature house <coughs> as what you can see it is all made up of um, recycled materials so um, the materials I've used uh, for it are cartoons stickers and foils also there are some cement um, under the the flooring um, it is to elevate the house so the miniature has its size of 23 by 13 centimeter and has a stand height of 19 centimeter from the ground from here so yeah as you as what you can see um it was elevated with two centimeter thick cement and the walls of this miniature are made up of cartoons cartoon basta cartoon <laughs> then it is um um, I finish it up with this white sticker. So it, this is stickers I've got it from my cousin, um, where he will not anymore using it. So 
Napasyang di pangayo siya. And there are and some designs are also from a sticker, a stone printed stickers, and also the window and the door. So, um, the um, steel bars for the lobby, I, I use. Um, for fuels for it, and then yeah. Next, next. So these are the materials I I use to create this miniature. So I use uh unused cartoon manong yun ang spelling sa cartoon amot lang basta kay cartoon foil stickers scissor blue gun yeah of course blue gun for the stick glue blue brush and paint pencils ruler paper cement and water so those are the materials um I you needed to create this miniature. So this so the following are the procedure. So first step um, you need to make a floor plan. <coughs> <coughs> so this is my floor plan for that for the rest house. So there are two big rooms this is for the boys room this is for the girls room so i have the living room and the outside living area then the kitchen and dining yeah and there are three lobbies because um naka kwan ni naka idea mi nga among rest house Kaya mo siyang itukod sa elevated place where, ano daw, <laughs> kaya na um, over, overlooking, which we can enjoy views like that. So, di ba, hilas kay me. <laughs> so, ah, oh. so, your floor plan will serve as your skeleton or the plan, the blueprint of your miniature of your house. So, 